ever heard of a transformer exploding? Don't worry, it's not as dramatic as the movies. But there is a strange voltage limit where some transformers start acting. Well, strange. We're talking about potential transformers, the workhorses of power systems. They keep things safe by stepping down high voltages for measuring instruments. But here's the shocker. Above 132 kV, PTs go a little rogue. Why is that? What dark secret lurks at this voltage level? In this video, we'll crack the code and reveal the truth behind the potential transformer mystery. So, grab your metaphorical rubber gloves and join us as we delve into the electrifying world of power systems. Before we dive in, let's understand the concept behind the potential transformer. It's all about the number of turns in the windings. PTs have a high number of turns in the primary winding, which is connected to the high voltage line and a lower number of turns in the secondary winding, connected to the measuring device. This arrangement allows PTs to safely and accurately step down high voltages for measurement and protection purposes. However, using PTs at higher voltages comes with its own set of challenges. When we move into the realm of higher voltages, using potential transformers or PTs becomes increasingly problematic. As system voltage escalates, the insulation needed to withstand that voltage difference becomes more critical and expensive. The physical size of the PT also needs to expand to maintain proper insulation clearances. This makes PTs bulky and difficult to handle at ultra-high voltages. Additionally, we start to see partial discharge effects or corona at these high voltages which can lead to power loss and potential insulation degradation. Furthermore, at higher voltage levels, the transformation ratio in a PT drops because the secondary line voltage is typically fixed at 110 volts. This low ratio can introduce inaccuracies in voltage measurement, especially for small voltage variations on the high voltage side. And let's not forget, PTs can't support power line carrier communication, a communication method employed between substations. Given these challenges, an alternate solution is preferred for high voltage systems. For high voltage systems, often exceeding 132 kV, capacitor voltage transformers or CVTs are generally the go-to solution. Unlike PTs, CVTs use a capacitor voltage divider in conjunction with a low voltage PT. This unique combination achieves the voltage step down with improved efficiency and a smaller size compared to a traditional PT at these high voltage levels. Moreover, CVTs offer better insulation characteristics and are less prone to corona discharge at high voltages, which reduces power loss and potential insulation degradation. One of the most significant advantages of a CVT over a PT is its ability to accommodate high-frequency signals, allowing for data transmission along with voltage measurement. This combined functionality offers an advantage for substation communication, a critical feature in today's interconnected power systems. So, while PTs can technically be used above 132 kV, CVTs provide a more practical and efficient solution, making them the preferred alternative for high voltage measurement and protection applications. So, are potential transformers used above 132 kV? The answer is yes, but it's not as black and white as it may seem. Potential transformers are indeed the workhorses of power systems, expertly stepping down high voltages to levels suitable for measuring instruments and protective relays. However, as we climb the voltage ladder, these transformers face an uphill battle. The increased insulation requirements, physical size, corona effects and reduced accuracy at high voltages make their application a challenge. And when it comes to supporting power line carrier communication, potential transformers simply don't make the cut. Enter the capacitor voltage transformers. These devices, preferred for high voltage systems often exceeding 132 kV, bring to the table improved efficiency, better insulation characteristics and less proneness to corona discharge. They are also able to accommodate high frequency signals, enabling data transmission along with voltage measurement. In the world of high voltage measurement and protection applications, CVTs clearly have the upper hand. So next time you think about power systems, remember the silent heroes. PTs and CVTs working together to keep our electricity flowing safely and reliably. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more adventures in the world of electrical engineering. And if you have any questions about PTs, CVTs or anything else that sparked your curiosity, leave a comment below. Let's keep the conversation electrifying.